welcome back to the vlogs and to the usual position I'm starting these vlogs which is on the sofa which by the way I'm feeling very inspired to like rejig some of the stuff in the house and you're probably gonna sit there and eye roll and be like again but it is kind of coming into the new season of spring and I've just had some ideas I mean it's not a lot and also I've got the company coming on Wednesday to clean the rugs in the house. I've also ordered some new covers for our Ikea sofa. Just want everything to feel a bit more like refreshed and cleaned. And I'm gonna change these up. I think I'm gonna do like a DIY art project. We'll see about that, that'll probably be coming soon. But I'm picking the camera up, I'm back from skiing, so if you missed my ski vlogs and what I got up to last week, then I will link them down below so you can catch up because I just had the best time skiing. I always feel like when you come back off a holiday, and I don't know if you guys feel like this, you just hit a low. I think it's because I was on such a high. I come back, obviously reality hit, and your diet changes so much from being away to coming back. I think that was a massive factor. And just kind of like getting back into the swing of work and everything else, and just trying to catch up. I just had really bad anxiety yesterday, so I just kind of took the day off um, filming, but I did go to the hairdressers, so I obviously vlogged vlogged being in the hairdressers I didn't really speak on the camera but I've obviously showed you what I get up to so I will clip into that and show you what I have done at the hairdressers I've done a few of these videos before so if you are new here it will be interesting for you to watch but if you aren't new here then you've probably seen it and you know what I get done so I always go to Errol Douglas salon in Belgravia he is just the best of the best and once you find a good hairdresser you never go back and Yolanda does my color so I've got a full head of highlights in here cooking and then we go to wash it out shampoo conditioner treat my hair and this is Gavin he is the best he's always cracking me up and then here we go again and this is your wonder she's putting on at the breaker base so once my hair is washed the breaker base goes on and this helps to smooth out my highlights so I don't have that block and it just prolongs them so it lasts a lot longer and then Errol does my cut and styles so as you can see here he's going to be putting the products in like mousse volumizing to give me that big bouncy look once it's all done then as you can see here, he's using a Dyson hair dryer. This is just to get the most of the wetness out of my hair and then later he will go in and blow dry it with the rollers. So as you can see here, he then goes in section by section, puts in hot rollers and this just then creates such a nice big bouncy blow. As you can see, it's all done. Gavin is back again and I just love it. The color, everything, the cut, they just always smash it. I feel like just honestly, having a fresh cut, fresh blow dry, fresh blonde it's just made me feel a lot better this morning i've woke up in such a better mood and i've had some new deliveries hence this outfit i'm wearing which i know you guys are going to love and it's actually a new brand i'm being introduced to and i have to say so far so good i literally made the order yesterday it came first thing this morning the quality is unreal the pieces are amazing they fit like a glove and i'm literally i know i'm going to be living in this outfit for this weekend because i'm going to go to the cotswolds to see my sister as well so it's just some really nice pieces i've got and i've also done a zara order which you would have seen in sunday's video by now hopefully it's up in time i did a zara haul so i got that this week and i did a bit of a try on and i just feel like i'm trying to get a bit more inspired again because i feel like after coming back from skiing my whole kind of mindset was around ski outfits and now i've come back i'm like right now i need to get into kind of like transitional outfits and just back into the swing of styling and feeling inspired again okay the light is already going but this is the outfit now the jumper alone is just such lovely quality and like i said i really just want to invest in pieces like this that i know i'm going to get my wear out of i just love the shape of it the way it fits the roll cuffs and this is my favorite part of this jumper you can properly secure it down i haven't done it but this comes off genius so you can have the roll neck with it or you can have no roll neck which means it's so much more versatile as well and I was also thinking you could even change this roll neck onto the other jumpers and maybe mix the colors because I've also got this in pink so I'm going to try it and then these are the jogging bottoms and I am living for them so it's navy white and then at the back is this beige color with the pockets so you literally have all the different kind of neutrals going on. I like the fact that it is these block colours. I think they work really well together. And like I said, just mix and match in neutrals just will always go forever in your wardrobe. 
And then this is the pink jumper with the trousers. And like I said, they fit so lovely. So really nice fit here around the waist. They've got the darts coming down. And then they also have this kind of like piping going down the side in black. And they fit here on the ankle really nice. But I love these colours together, the pink and the grey. And I think this is a really subtle way to add colour into your wardrobe, especially for these kind of like winter months transitioning into spring. also have a little buckle, if I can show you here, where you can adjust them as well. Sorry, it's really hard holding the camera and it's showing you. So you can kind of see here at the back, so you can make them tighter around the waist. So they're just honestly such a lovely fit. You can just tell the quality of these and I know I'm gonna wear this outfit a lot. I'll style the trousers as well, loads of different ways. Okay, so I've just got that change into my comfies. I told you guys I would be living in these. I've got some soup down it from lunch. I feel like you just can't be a good Heinz tomato soup and a crusty roll. Coffee and cracking on with the day because we've just had this Ikea order come to us. We're gonna replace all of our sofa cushions. So you can kind of see like they've got a bit discolored. We've literally had this for about two years now. So we thought we're gonna refresh the sofa with some new covers. And that's why we actually got this one. It's called the Gronlid one. And you can even change it to different colors if you want. So it's nice that you can just kind of give it a refresh. Obviously you can put these in the wash, but I feel like I've washed them so many times now, the color's just gone a bit funny. So I just want to spruce up the house a little bit. I want to change the covers for the sofa. We're getting the rug all properly cleaned. And then I'm going to change up the prints and just give the house a little bit of a refresh. And I also got from Ikea these little shelves, which are really good for the kitchen. I think I mentioned this when I went to Ikea a while ago and they'd sold out when I went to the store. Because we've got really big cupboards in height, but you, we couldn't stack the things in them. So these shelves are really good for it. I thought these would come in handy. I think they were like four or five pound. Just got to put them together. But they literally look like that. So you can like stack mugs and stuff on them. So we've got to basically dismantle the whole thing and do it again. Do you remember when we put this sofa together, how long it took us? I don't think we can do this in 10 minutes. No, we can't do this. We might have to do this tonight. I wanted to get it done whilst it was light, but I might just have to do it later tonight. Yeah, look, he looks like he's got all the time in the world. <laughs> Which we don't have right now. Right, I'll have to do it later tonight. Okay, I need to be quick, but I recently went to Glossier, Glossier, and I got this concealer. My friend Chloe told me about it. It's called the Stretch Concealer. This is G11. Basically, she had it, and I tried it in the girls' bathroom. I feel like this is when you discover the good products, and it worked so well. I'm going to take my rings off, actually, to put it on. So I'm going to just put this under my eyes. Maybe if I come down here, you can see me. That's a bit better. Oh, it's fresh. And it's called the Stretch Concealer because that's literally what you can do. Like, you can pull it around as so, like, with your finger. And it just instantly brightens your under eye without going cakey. Can you see the difference of that eye? Wow. It is so good. This is such good concealer to have in your handbag. Like say if you're out all day, you just need to do a quick top up and it doesn't, I hate when sometimes you reapply concealer like over your powder or something and it just goes all cakey and horrible. I feel like another product which you should always carry around in your handbag as well if you want to just refresh your makeup throughout the day is blush. I just feel like brush, blush just wakens up your face. Like I do love bronzer but there's something about it. Chris, bless him, he always calls it rouge. I'm like, that's something that a grandma would say. This is the blush I'm using. It's the Tom Ford one. I love the mix of these two colors. I don't know, it just makes me feel, like once I've put blush on, it just makes you look more awake. Obviously it just gives you that color in your cheeks. And I always put a little bit on my nose as well. Okay, I'm ready. Shush up my makeup. I'm not putting my lipstick on until I get there because the wind is just gonna whack it into my lip gloss. Got my Dior earrings in, quickly shush up my hair. This top is from Zara, and how cute is the back? These are my leather trousers from H&M. They are a little bit long, but it's okay, because I've got my heeled boots on. And my self over bag to tie in the look. And then I'm just gonna take a big black coat to put over the top, because it is cold tonight. And I'm ready for girls' night. 
Good morning guys, it is now a few days later, I'm picking at the camera back up. So karaoke on Friday, so fun with the girls, had a few too many Proseccos, and then over the weekend I went to the Cotswold to spend some time with my family, literally weathered the storm, I can't tell you how caught up in it I got, my hair was everywhere, so I finally washed it, blow dried it, and it's looking semi-normal again. But I thought I'd pick the camera back up because I actually filmed a try-on of some new pieces I've got from Naked that I'm so desperate to share with you guys because I know how much you're going to love them. And it's actually their sixth anniversary of when they started. So I've got a really good discount code. This is going to get you 30% off to celebrate. I will leave it on the screen and also down below. You guys know how much I love Naked. If you have stuck around for a while, I've been working with them for a while now. I just love their brand. They're sustainable, really good quality, affordable you just can't go wrong. If you are new here, of course, you can go check them out and see the pieces that I'm going to be showing you. They'll all be linked in the description, as usual, with the size references. So I'm going to do a little try on and show you the new pieces that I've got. Okay, first up is this ruched mini skirt, and I thought this was actually really cute with the black jumper I've already got from Naked. This is from Claire Rose's collection. It's got the shoulder pads in, it comes high neck. I wear this a lot. I've also got it in grey. I think they do it in cream as well so I'll link it down below but I thought this actually looks really cute together with the skirt and I like this ruched detailing because it really complements this area so if you have a bloat it will hide it and it's got the nice little detail here it kind of drops down with the hem it's got a side panel I just feel like there's a lot going on with a skirt but it's still quite chic and minimal if that makes sense just think it really makes a nice evening look if you're going for like dinner or drinks okay this coat this color green is everything i am obsessed with it it's very similar to the cream and the black one that i have from naked as well sorry it's going really bright and dark at the same time and i literally wear my two other coats on repeat they're very much the same kind of style and they come to the bottom like a maxi length they've got the shoulder pads here set from this one the buttons are a little bit different with the pockets and it's kind of got these details going across the coat as well but I just think this looks so nice with just a simple outfit underneath so I've got the black jumper and just my leather trousers and then the coat speaks for itself it's really nice just to add a pop of colour into your wardrobe this green is sure this is the size 34 I will leave the size reference down below for you guys anyway okay I'm keeping the same outfit underneath to focus on this jacket this teddy material is so soft I love this and I like the fact that this is lighter weight jacket so going into obviously like I said kind of transitioning you don't always want those thick heavy jackets so something like this to throw over the top and you can obviously layer underneath is great I like the fact it's cropped it comes in here with the clasp so you can have it done up and I saw also on the model she was wearing just kind of like this and then her outfit underneath so I mean even if you did want to you can have it closed up but I think it just looks nice as a jacket really kind of casual everyday look and going in with the green again, I got this little set and I feel like this is more kind of like a loungewear set but I could really see this into the spring and summer as like a comfy little travel outfit put on with some cute little sandals, gold accessories, little bag I feel like you guys can see the vision with this but again, very similar colour green to the coat really feeling this colour at the minute and it comes with the matching trousers they have this elasticated waist they actually fit really great because sometimes I feel like the crotch can be weird with trousers like this but they're not too bad a little bit long on the length but they always are going to be on me so I felt like my wardrobe was lacking a few evening pieces and I got this dress, it comes high neck here. Now I got it in the small, I really wish I actually got it in the extra small because I feel like there is a little bit of material here that should be a lot tighter, like it should come up there if that makes sense. But all of the detailing is at the back so it's all open back and it's a mini style because I feel like a lot of these dresses always come quite midi. So I thought this was quite sweet, I mean it's still got the label in as you guys know, it's brand new, I haven't worn it yet but... I really love this with some high knee boots, a big black blazer over the top for a nice dinner date outfit if you're going out with the girls or I've got an event coming up this week which I actually think will be perfect for this dress but I, th I do think if you're going to go for it go true to size because as you can see it's gaping a little bit here so I think the extra small would have been perfect. And then lastly I got these boots, I have them in black, I wear them so much that I've been wanting to get them in cream and they were sold out in my size for a while so I managed to get my hands on them they kind of come at like a square toe at the front but the heel size on them is just so great they are actually really comfortable to walk around in hence why I always wear my black so I thought these would be great to style with the outfits and just have a bit of a mix match with them as well back to real time again I thought I'd quickly show you my nails as well since 
I didn't vlog it when I went yesterday. I went to my townhouse and these are my favourite nails ever yet. They're so cute. They're part of the Sicily collaboration that they're doing at the minute. I love this little French money and I went for more of an oval shape. My nails before were so butchered. I went to a local salon and it was just not a good job at all. So it feels nice and fresh. And I've been using the Sicily oil that they also gave me. This is actually a rose oil for your face but it's really good for your like nails as well so it's actually been helping like my cuticles and all that dry stuff around your nails as well especially in the winter but i'm going to crack on today i've got lots to film and shoot i've got to wrap up some deadlines so i need to figure out what i'm going to wear and get myself cracking on with the day <laughs> We've been shooting this afternoon. We've just shot Chloe in this look here. Gone for the plain vibes and pop of green. I've gone with the naked coat that I was trying on earlier. It's so nice. You keep saying as well, the quality of it. Oh, beautiful. Love, love it. it. Like the shoulders. Yeah. So I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to shoot it for the gram. And then we're going to go head off and have some lunch because we are hungry. Hey guys, it's Chloe Cam. <laughs> just, oh wait, let me get some good lighting. Oh, there we go. It's Chloe Cam. Let me show you the real tea. BTS, start now. For lunch, we got some burgers. It's my first time trying out Honest Burgers. Chloe's recommended, and we've got onion rings in the middle as well. Coke Zero is a must. Tucking in. Mm. into Celine and I've ended up trying on the trainers and the belt and I love both so we're gonna go with both and me and Chloe now are gonna have a little, little pop of champagne and celebrate also I've swapped my outfits like three times today so on this vlog it might be different every time <laughs> but we had a successful shoot day now a little bit of shopping and we're celebrating I feel like I haven't treated myself so this is my little treat yeah and I've wanted these have been on my wishes now for a while so and they're perfect I'll put a little clip actually of me trying it on together so you can see the trainers but they don't look right with these trousers and I have black socks on. Cheers. Just you. <laughs> can you actually drink? <laughs> you look like you know the who's off the Grinch. I get told that, Cindy Lou. brought the goods home and I literally have 10 minutes to get ready and go out for an event tonight I've got an event with Rodial. So we have two boxes in here which I'm very excited to show you a bigger one and a smaller one so I'm going to be doing an unboxing in Sunday's video so make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss it so you can see what I got and how I'm going to style these pieces I'm actually going to wear one of them tonight with my outfit I think so I have 10 minutes to get ready I need to <laughs> hurry up and get myself sorted and get in the taxi but I'm very excited to show you guys this it's something that I've wanted for a while so I'm happy with these purchases I literally got home I had 10 minutes to get ready managed to turn it around quickly went over my hair shushed up my makeup which wasn't really showing up here in the taxi and as you saw I did a little purchase in Celine I'm wearing one of them now I've just got a big blazer on the dress from Naked which I showed you guys in the hall it's got like an open back blazer over the top with the belt cinching it in but you can't really see so hopefully I'll show you in a mirror when I get there and I've got my Chanel baby out and on the way to the event now I'm so tiny. I'm definitely too busy. I'm with Tula. We're at the road wedding. It's so pretty. 
Thought I'd actually show you my outfit. I've got the naked dress underneath, blazer, the new Celine belt, which I'm loving it, my Chanel bag, two Francis boots, I've gone for like an all black look. I've got to be quiet because Chris is in bed, bless him. I've just got back. It was such a lovely event and it was actually so nice to meet Maria, the owner of Brodiol. I actually read her book years ago and was very inspired by it so. I will leave a link for it down below because she wrote an amazing book about how she got started, how she created the brand and everything about it. And then just meeting her today in person was just like a bit of a pinch me moment and it was just such a lovely evening, the whole vibe of it and I've come away with some lovely rodeo goodies. I'm very excited because the banana concealer, the it's literally like their hero product was in my little goodie bag and I've just run out so very excited about that. I'm now taking my makeup off. This is literally the favourite part of my day. I feel like I've literally been on the go since so early this morning. I'm gonna take my makeup off, get into bed. It's literally like nearly midnight and end the vlog here. So I hope you guys enjoyed. This is me looking crazy with my mascara everywhere.